myself, I've been very um, fortunate. Um, I have not had as much, I have not had as much problems like a lot of my friends have in their facilities um, in the sense of some of the challenges. My facility is good. Um, but speaking from being a nurse and going through and watching my friends go through their problems, my colleagues, um, you know, and they've come to me and they've been upset, crying. I don't know what to do. You know, we, we become nurses because we care about people, right? We want to help people. That's what we do. That's why we became nurses. And we get a challenge every single day. We know, we knew going into the job that there's always a risk. We are always exposed to infections and diseases and that kind of a thing. But what upsets us the most is when we go into the job prior to the pandemic, PPE was not a big deal. We all got what we needed. Yes, there is a shortage. We understand that, but not to the point where we're risking our lives because some of my other colleagues have had to wear uh, their isolation gowns for a full shift or have one face shield for a full week or have to wear the same mask for a week. That's not safe. That's just not safe. So one of the, yes. Well, you know what, tell me this. Um, have you seen a lot of COVID patients, you personally? I have seen some, yes. And what has that experience been like for you? Their condition, um, you know, how you help them, just what, what is that like? Well, they're patients, just like any other patient, you know. We do what we can. We're, we're nurses. We, we follow orders. We go in. We take care of them, just like everybody else. But there's there's challenges in everything that we do everything and the challenges that we're facing because of this virus is not just ourselves and the other patients that we take care of but our coworkers our families and our community we don't know we really don't know that much about this virus do we no so we're doing everything that we can as nurses on the front lines to do what we can. And I, I, we're very frustrated. We just need more protection. We need more masks. We need more gowns. We need more uh, sh face shields. And the only way it's gonna be done is if the Defense Protection Act is enacted, just like they did for the ventilators, and get them going and get them out there and give them to us so that we can be protected so that if, God forbid, we wind up getting sick and don't know it, we spread it. We don't want to do that. That's not what we're, that's what nurses are. We don't want to do that. Sure. So here you are, you just got off a 12 hour shift. How long have you been a nurse, Liz? 18 years. 18 so how years. do you feel when you get off a shift, especially when there's a global pandemic going on? How do you just, how, how are you feeling? How are you, how are you holding up? Stressed, very stressed. Um, a lot of us are for different, you know, we, we just, we just don't know. Nobody does. And we just do what we can and we trudge through. We love what we do. We love our patients. That's why we do what we do. And there's not a day that goes by that I ever, ever, ever regret being a nurse. It is the most rewarding job on the planet to me. And I would not change being a nurse for anything in this world. But my colleagues and myself we, we need more protection yeah wow so you know what would you say for you personally what is the biggest stress for you what weighs on you the most whether or not i'm going to bring the virus home to my family uh whether or not i'm going to infect somebody else that i work with it's it's scary it's a very frightening thing and all we want is to be protected that's all nothing more 
So kind of, I want you to really give me the detail because for us at home, you know, you say PPE, we all now know what that means, but trust me, four weeks ago, nobody knew what that meant. So what exactly do you need to feel safe right now when you're at work? I need to know that I have the proper equipment to work with my patients at all times. So every nurse, every nurse in the Tampa Bay area in every hospital needs to have that protection to continue. It's not just me, it's everybody. Every nurse that I know wants to be protected, no matter what hospital they work at. And I have friends throughout the entire Tampa Bay community in every hospital. We all feel the same way. We all want the protection. We all want to make sure that we are able to help our patients and not spread the disease. Mm -hmm. no, but the only way that's going to happen is if we get more equipment without having to worry about it with the diff and, and have that Defense Protection Act enacted so that it can happen. Otherwise, I don't know. The, Do you have enough masks every day at your job? I'm fortunate, yes. Mm -hmm. So you've been okay. When you need an N95, you have had one. I'm fortunate. Yeah. Not everybody I know is. Is there any equipment that you personally haven't had that you wish you had? As I said, <laughs> unfortunately, we never have enough of anything, ever. And we need more. We need more shields, we, you know, the face shields. We need more masks, you know, the N95s. We need more uh, gowns. Mm -hmm. all, you know, and now, are, you know, you hear all the talk of, um, you know, the state starting phases of reopening and people starting to get back to normal. Do you have any fears still about what's to come where you're at or, you know, until there's a, a defense against this virus? Because really social distancing was our only defense and that's starting to loosen. Right. Yes, it is a big fear because people are going to get, I fear that people are going to get lax and it's going to spread. It's going to get worse. And I don't want that to happen. People really need to be aware and keep that social distancing up and wear those masks and wash their hands and not to say, well, okay, well, you know, we're going to go to the restaurant and everything's going to be fine. And, you know, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the park and we're going to the beach. And, and then we just get complacent. And then what happens? It happens again and again, over and over. And it's just, it's yes, yes, myself and a lot of my nurse friends feel the same way. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely terrified, absolutely terrified that something, you know, is going to get worse before it gets better.